Town in Town with the drunkards over here. We're here to learn how they make beer, how they make their beautiful uh, pale ale, how they make their hells, and uh, a couple of new beers we haven't even heard of. Um, but we're going to get a tour from a guy called Mark, who's going to uh, take us around the... It's like Willy Wonka in Chrome, it's incredible in there. Uh, and he's going to show us exactly what they do, what the brewers do, how it's packaged, and then he's going to pour us a pint at the end. So, see you in a bit. So I'm here with Mark from Camden Town. He's going to take us through the brewery in a couple of minutes. You can see behind us the maturation tanks. That's the end of the process, so we're going to get started at the start. So we've got our goggles on, I've got my protected blazer on. Mark, what comes first? All right, so this is the brew house. This is where we make all the beer. Um, we need four ingredients to make beer. The first one is water. If you drink the liquid, you need water. Um, we don't have the benefit of uh, an underground well or anything like that, so we just got like, tap water. And then we need a grain. We've got a bunch of grain here. So we've got like, a whole gra uh, pale grain, and it goes from a very pale colour all the way up to kind of the deepest, darkest black that you can possibly get. And a whole colour range in between. So you get some sort of toasty, biscuity flavours, you're going to get some caramel flavours, all the way through to like, chocolate and, and coffee. And it's like a combination of different grains to create the basis of the beer. Then we mix water and grain in this tank here, it's called the mash nut. Mixing it together, and what we're doing is these grains are full of starches. When you heat those starches up in the water, they convert into fermentable sugars, which is what we need, because later on that's going to give us alcohol, which is what we need in a bit. So it churns in this mash nut for maybe an hour, hour and a half, to extract all that wonderful uh, colour and all the wonderful flavour that we can possibly get out of these grains. Then we need to separate the liquid from the grain, uh, which we do in the tank over the back, which is called a lavender tub. So we no longer need that grain, because there's no flavour in this other tank. We, uh, it's like a big sieve where it catches all the grain, all the liquid falls through, the grain gets dumped out, goes and feeds pigs and cows and sheep and all sorts of uh, other animals, and then we're left with this wonderful sweet liquid which is called worked. Um, and it tastes like really strong sweet tea. And then it fires back into this tank here, which is called the kettle, and that's where we have the hops. Cool. Okay, so this is the mash tun, where the grain and the water got mixed. Then went over to the louter tun, where it was separated, and now it goes back into the kettle. So what happens there, Mark? So this is where we have the hops. Uh, these are hops here. They're, uh, they're flowers. They grow around the world. They grow once a year. Um, they give beer its flavour, its bitterness, and its aroma. Um, they're varietal, and each variety is different. Some are going to be citrusy, peppery. Uh, some are going to be really floral. Some are going to be delicate. Some are going to be really intense. So depending on what qualities we want to get um, from the hops, will depend on or into the beer. Will depend on what variety we use. Um, and we boil them, in, boil them in here for around about an hour or so to get all that flavour into the into the beer. So the hops have been boiled up in the kettle. And they're going to come through this pipe down here and into the whirlpool. What happens there? So in the whirlpool, all we need to do is separate the hot trough from the liquid because we no longer need that the bits of hot. So as it comes down this pipe here so fast and it hits this at an angle, it naturally just creates a big whirlpool spinning around in there, and we're just flicking out the, the hot matter. And then what happens is we cool it down, pass it through a little heat exchange, and then it moves through into the fermenter, which is where we have the yeast. In. So we're now uh, in some kind of cool forest of fermentation tanks. What's happened to the beer here? So the liquid's coming in, no alcohol yet, so this is where all the alcohol uh, is created. But at this point we add in the yeast. Um, there's loads of different yeast strains out there, loads of different hop varieties and different types of grains. And each one is going to give different flavours and different qualities to the beer. But essentially, the yeast goes into the tank and it eats the sugars that have been created in the, from, the, from the grain in the mash tun. Um, and it converts them into alcohol and it converts them into carbon dioxide, so we get the, the bubbles into the beer. So this here is beer that's fermented right now, so it's kind of carbon dioxide coming up all over the place. So I'm trying not to breathe in too deeply right now. Um, once this fermentation process is finished, what happens is the beer in the tank gets cooled down to about zero degrees and then we leave it there for a conditioning period. Uh, for some beers it might be a week, other beers it might be two, three, four weeks. Um, and the whole time it's just staying in the tank, allowing all those delicious flavours to just come together perfectly. It's been fermented, it's been conditioned, now what happens? So now it's ready to go, we need to get it into a, into, into a container. Um, the whole time it's in these tanks, there's yeast in the beer. Um, for some beers, that's great, we want it to be in there. Wheat beers, things like that. For other beers, we definitely don't want it to be in there. So we pass it through a filter, which is this contraption that we're standing by here. What happens is we, part, we, we mix the beer with something called kiesel gurk, which is a diatomaceous earth. Basically, it's a porous powder, and it mixes with the beer, pumps hold of the yeast, um, and then as we pass it through this thing, it's got a load of uh, plates in there. So all the solid stuff gets stuck in these plates, the beer goes in cloudy, comes out perfectly clear. Uh, we don't do that with all the beers, just for some of the beers. And then it moves on to these tanks behind us, and then we go and we put it into a, into a container. So the ones you don't filter are the unfiltered ones you can buy? Yes, so the unfiltered so wheat beer is unfiltered, we get some unfiltered beers on the bar. So after weeks of waiting, the beer is finally ready. So where are we now? So this is the packaging arch, it's where we put it into a container so we can take it over and drink it. Uh, we've got kegs, we've got bottles, and we also fill cans at this part. And the next part of the process is the bit we've been waiting for the whole time. We drink it. Cheers. Cheers.